Hey guys, in this video we're going to go over the FCS Networker dashboard. Um, the dashboard will come up right when you log in and it'll basically have all your information that you'll need on your account and uh, pretty much any settings information you'll need to input you can do within the dashboard. So when you need to log in you'll see um, basically all your information, your username, email, you can change your password, um, what membership you have, how many submission credits, and your join date. Basically, your join date will tell you when your submission credits reset also monthly. So if you were to uh, max out your submission credits uh, on this date of the next month coming up when your submission credits would reset. You could also reset the uh, desktop software license by clicking this link. You can uh, sign up for our affiliate program. Um, this is also where you'll activate your free link indexing if you want to use that. We highly recommend it. It's awesome link indexing. Um, we have a few different services that we um, submit your links to. We drip them out over a course of uh, 10 to 30 days. And then we have our own indexing system that's very similar to um, similar to services uh, like Instant Link Indexer and some of those uh, quick link indexing services. So it, if you activate that, it'll just put all your successful links each day. It'll put them into our link indexing um, system and then they'll get dripped out into our indexing system over 10 to 30 days. You could also activate your free rank track free rank tracking from here as well. Just click this button, enter the information, and you'll get set up for 20 free keywords through uh, the company SERP Rank Tracker. They're in no way affiliated with us, but they give uh, FCS users um, 20 free keywords, uh, which is pretty cool. So some other settings we have here is you could set your numbers of consecutive fails before dead account. So uh, this basically, if your account were to fail five times and you have this to check to automatically delete dead accounts, it'll automatically delete the account for the system and clean up your dead account. You could set this to uh, whatever number you want. I, pref I prefer between three and five, just in case. Um, sometimes uh, some sites have server issues. So if you do just one, the account might not be dead, but usually between three and five fails usually means the account is pretty much definitely um, dead or uh, just not working anymore. Um, all right, on the right you'll see your submission stats, uh, project stats, blog stats, all um, stats on your account. You could also view this at any time from the menu over here and the stats will bring up your stats. Um, also over here we have a help button which is the tutor tutorials for any page. It'll bring up um, that page's particular tutorial and uh, FCS news um, that you could view down here, but this you can access from any page. So um, it just gives you a way to access any information, tutorials, anything you need right from those links right up there. So these submission stats, um, as you submit, uh, these numbers will go up. Your open projects, you'll be able to see right from the dashboard how many accounts, blog networks, blog social product projects, how many finished projects you have. Um, so it's just an easy way right when you log in to see what's going on in your account. Um, from the dashboard, you could also set up your spinner settings. We have our free spinner, best spinner. Uh, we're always adding new spinner services, so there may be more when you see them. Uh, so basically, if I wanted to add Word AI, it'll just come up. It'll give you your options. You set them, and then you click Save, and then uh, you'd be all set. If you don't have any spinning services, uh, memberships, uh, just leave the free spinner um, as your selected service. You could add your own proxies to the web submission system, but we highly we don't recommend it. We very much don't recommend it because... We use um, thousands and thousands of proxies, all private proxies, all very high caliber to do our submissions. Uh, we find a lot of times users aren't using the best quality proxies and you'll see the, not always, but you may see lower success rates if you don't use really high caliber proxies. These sites are very strict. 
So we recommend just leaving this off, but if you want to use your own proxies uh, for submissions, you could uh, just set that to yes. And then um, if you click this, it'll open the proxy manager where you can add your own proxies and manage those. Um, and then on this tab is where you could add your extra indexing services, article builder API information, and just get all that set up. Um, so basically the dashboard is pretty straightforward. Um, when you just get started, I'd definitely click on the get start, getting started um, button because this will bring up some uh, beginner's guides, a few extra stuff, an overview video of um, just give you a good idea and a quick uh, sum up of how to go about using FCS. You can also download the account creator software. Um, so basically everything you need. Um, about your account settings and to get started uh, setting up your account will be in your dashboard. And that's uh, basically all there is to the dashboard, guys. See you in the next video.